Facebook chief executive Mark Zuckerberg struck a serious pose late Tuesday when he said he stood by Sheryl Sandberg, the company's chief operating officer, and asserted that he doesn't intend to step down as the social networking giant's board chairman. Speaking on CNN, Zuckerberg sought to quell concerns about upheaval and dissension in Facebook's executive ranks that was at the center of a New York Times article last week. That story include reports of Zuckerberg's dissatisfaction with how Sandberg handled the Cambridge Analytica scandal and the how the company deals with the security of its users' private information. Zuckerberg told CNN that Sandberg is leading a lot of the efforts for a lot of the issues we have, and that there should be no question about Sandberg's position at Facebook. She's been an important partner to me for 10 years, he said. I'm really proud of the work that we've done together, and I hope that we work together for decades more to come. Zuckerberg also tamped out calls for him to at least step down at Facebook's chairman in favor of an independent board leader with more oversight over the company's operations. That's not in the plan, he said when asked if he was considering splitting up his CEO and chairman jobs. In spite of the recent backlashes, Zuckerberg maintained that the company will continue with its mission to connect more people around the world. I think the world will keep moving in this direction. More people will keep on getting a voice. I think that that's good, he said. However, he also admitted that Facebook needs to remain vigilant about addressing its flaws. There are certainly going to be issues that we need to work through over time. But I think that while we are doing that, we can't lose sight of all of the really positive things that are happening here as well. Zuckerberg also called out the Time story, which, in addition to bringing up reports of Zuckerberg's dissatisfaction with Sandberg, also included a report that Facebook had hired Definers Public Affairs, a Republican-backed firm, to launch campaigns to discredit some Facebook critics. Sandberg denied knowing that Facebook had hired definers, which Facebook cut ties with last week. A lot of the things that were in that report, we talked to the reporters ahead of time and told them that from everything that we'd seen, that wasn't true and they chose to print it anyway, he said. Late Tuesday, TechCrunch reported that it had acquired an internal Facebook memo in which Elliot Schrage, the company's outgoing head of public policy, took the blame for hiring definers.